Released in 1992 for the Mega Drive in Japan and 1993 elsewhere in the world, Shining Force is a unique tactical RPG from Sega that puts you in the shoes of Max, who has to lead the Shining Force against the hordes of Dark Soul, who seeks to resurrect the evil Dark Dragon and plunge the Land of Rune into darkness. I have to say, the story in Shining Force is fairly flat, with your fellow warriors adding very little to it. However, the story's not the reason you want to put Shining Force in your Mega Drive. The gameplay of Shining Force seems like a very standard tactical RPG, and in many ways it is. It follows the tropes of the genre, such as grid-based movement, turn order, and controlling large amounts of characters, but feels totally unique. The pace of battles is fast and exciting, with players having a lot of freedom in where they can place their units, while being constrained into employing strategy. The game is very fair, and you never feel totally overwhelmed by the AI, as long as you have some ability to strategize. Viewing the map, thinking about unit placement, and engaging in mind games with the AI by drawing units away from certain areas is necessary to succeeding in Shining Force. When you get these skills down, you'll have an absolute blast. If you can't get your head around how to employ strategy to overcome your foes though, you might hate Shining Force. Players also have to consider what land units are standing on, as that can affect the usefulness of that unit. Do you tell certain units to hang back and provide cover for weaker spellcasters, or go head first into enemies to clear a path to their leader? You have to think about the pace you approach the game, and overcoming challenges using strategy and intuition is incredibly satisfying. Shining Force never fails to make you feel like you've accomplished something, and to have the game seamlessly transition from combat to a story sequence is always really rewarding. Outside of combat, Shining Force is fairly bare bones. You can walk around towns and talk to townspeople, hop into vehicles to get around your environment, but that's about it. Apart from that, there's very little to see and do. Visiting shops to outfit your crew is always something you want to do, and if you're not certain how best to position your units in combat, you can always ask them in between battles. Graphically, Shining Force is a mixed bag. Combat is gorgeous with huge sprites and detailed animation, but outside of combat, flat colors somewhat dull outstanding visual design. Towns are fairly generic and fail to inspire a sense of warmth that you want from them, but they all look unique to some degree, which is a nice touch. The main attraction in Shining Force is the combat, and that's where it excels. The pace of tactical RPGs often discourages me from playing them, which is why I never found the Fire Emblem series to be very engaging. However, Hiroyuki Takahashi did a brilliant job of making combat in Shining Force interesting, well-paced, exciting, and rewarding. If you're looking for a game to engage your brain and leave you with a sense of satisfaction when you turn off the console, then I highly recommend picking up Shining Force.